Hello BMW i3 crowd, Alec here, giving you a slight modification to the dreaded rubber rivet nut issue that we experienced with the BMW i3 Rex rear trunk cover. Um, it's very common for them to disintegrate into multiple pieces and no longer be functioning. And these are expensive from the dealership to replace. So I came up with a solution today that involves uh, installation of just rivet nuts and a new size application here. Uh, it does require slight modification to make the hole a little bit larger, 7 16 drill bit size. That is the only thing you need to worry about. Um, I do plan to show a video of installation during this uh, recording. So you can bear with me here and see how quickly it is to install. Uh, another modification besides the 7 16 drill bit here, uh, you will have to come over here and make these slightly larger. Uh, what I do is just take a drill bit. Uh, I took a 5 16 drill bit, drill it, put it inside of here, and just wiggled it back and forth side to side a little bit just to expand it. You might have to do it a couple times to ensure that the size is correct, uh, but that should be fairly simple. All right, so what, we'll, what we will do here is just show you how quickly it is to install. <coughs> Drill, 7 16 You can put vacuum underneath here to suck it up, but I don't want to turn it on due to sound. Uh, it's very loud. So what I do for the carbon fiber drilling is um, I just take it a little bit at a time. Um, slow speed is what I have it. What ends up happening is when you start drilling it, you'll see that it'll, it'll wedge, reverse it out all the way, do it a little bit again until it wedges, reverse it out, and do it again until it goes all the way through. Uh, it might be uh, concerned that, you know, you might crack it or anything like that, but we are drilling an existing hole to enlarge it, and it should not be an issue. So we're gonna go ahead and start it. Stopped, reverse. In, reverse. Okay, forward again, reverse, and then forward, reverse, forward, there it is. Now we'll turn the vacuum on to uh, pick everything up real quick. What you'll do is then you'll install the rivet into the tool. The black part is the tool. It has a thread inside of here and the rivet nut goes in. You place the rivet nut all the way inside. Make sure it sits flush. Then you will use a 14 millimeter for the bottom and a 13 millimeter for the top. And just tighten it like you normally do a bolt. Try to make sure you push, give some downward pressure. You'll start to see that it'll stop swabbling after a few turns. Make sure both tools are always on. And what you'll just do is tighten it until you start to see, feel some resistance. Now I feel some resistance, so what I'm gonna do is back it up. Just like that, our th insert is installed. Then you'll be able to just take your M8 bolt, thread it all the way in. Obviously you will want to thread it in once the plate cover is on, but I'm just showing an example. 
and you'll repeat the same process for the other seven or however many bolts you're replacing. Thank you.